Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x squared minus 9 divided by x minus 3. This is equal to 6. So what is the value of x? Now let's provide a solution from here. So we have x to the power of 2 minus 9 divided by x minus 3. This is equal to 6. Now, 6 is our whole number, so this is over 1. So the first step is to cross multiply here, so that we have x to the power of 2 minus 9. This is equal to 6 multiplied by x minus 3. So we have x to the power of 2 minus 9. This is equal to 6 times x. This is equal to 6x. Then minus 6 times minus 3. This is equal to minus 18. Let's take 6x minus 18 on the left hand side so that we have x to the power of 2 minus 9 minus 6x then plus 18. This is equal to 0. So this is x to the power of 2 minus 6x. Then we have minus 9 plus 18. This is plus 9. This is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. We can solve this quadratic equation by applying the factorization method here. The product is equal to 9. The sum is equal to minus 6. So let's identify these two factors here. The two factors we have minus 3 and minus 3. Minus 3 times minus 3, this is 9. Minus 3 plus minus 3, this is minus 6. So let's substitute these two factors so that we have x to the power of 2, subtract 3x, subtract 3x, then plus 9, this is equal to 0. Now, we have got two parts here, and this implies that x is common here, so we have x into the parentheses, this is x minus 3, then subtract. In the second case here, we have 3 is common, so we factor out 3. Then we have x minus 3. This is equal to 0. So this means that we have x minus 3 and x minus 3. This is equal to 0. Now, in this case, in this case, we have x minus 3. This is equal to 0. We have x minus 3. This is equal to 0. So this means that x is equal to 3. Now, let's check if this value of x here satisfies the equation. If you recall, again, we have x to the power of 2 minus 9 divided by x minus 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 6. So, x here is 3, so we have 3 to the power of 2 minus 9 divided by, this is 3 minus 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 6. So, we have 3 squared, this is 9 minus 9 divided by, this is 3 minus 3. This should give us a value of 6. 9 minus 9, this is equal to 0. And we have 3 min minus 3, this is 0. So we have 0 over 0. And this is not equal to 6. So we have that 0 over 0. This is actually in indeterminate form. This is indeterminate form. And in this case, 0 over 0 is not equal to 6. This means that x equal to 3 in this case does not satisfy the equation. Does not satisfy the equation. So from here, at this point, we have no solution to this problem. But now, we can apply the L Opitos rule. Let's apply the L Opitos rule here. So that now, 
remember we have x to the power of 2 minus 9 divided by x subtract 3 this is equal to 6 now if we apply the l orbitals rule here this is the limit so that we have the limit as x tends to 3 of x to the power of 2 minus 9 divided by x minus 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 6 this is supposed to give us a value of 6 now applying the L orbital rule or L orbitals rule we have the limit as x tends to 3 now let's determine the derivative of x to the power of 2 minus 9 with respect to x divided by the derivative of x minus 3 with respect to x and this is equal to now here we have the derivative of x squared minus 9 this is 2x divided by the derivative of x minus 3 this is 1 as x tends to 3 so let's substitute the value of x which is 3 and this means that 2 times 3 this should give us a value of 6 so 2 times 3 in this case this is equal to 6 which is equal to 6 so this math problem can only apply if we apply an orbitals rule otherwise there is there will be no solution to this math problem so thank you for watching kindly follow the steps like this video and subscribe